So today we are taking out the original church flooring and hoping to be able to reuse most of it. Some of it is kind of punky, um, so we're throwing it out. But the stuff that's good, we're going to sand it down, put a little... The birds? Are they back? Yes, of course they're back. I don't think your stick is going to be able to get rid of them. my job to take the bad wood to the bin and get rid of it. But the good stuff we're going to stand down and then uh, put a varathane on it, Tim? A stain and then the... Uh, stain and, and a varathane and then lay it down once we're done here. Tim's trying to eradicate our bird problem. I don't think that's going to work. No good. Why is that? Well, it's got. Rot oh yeah, in yeah, yeah. Rot down there, and also it's just this whole edge got snapped off and kind of gnarly. And oh, this yeah. one, they don't have a tongue on this one. They cut this one short. Oh, okay, gotcha. So we have had a relatively injury-free work site zone so far. Knock on wood. Um, but yesterday, <laughs> I was victim of two incidences. First one was Tim nailed me in the face. I don't know if you can see right here. With the, a, skid. a skid, got me good here, got a fat lip, a sore. And um, then the second time was my fault, but I got a nail in the arm. I was trying to remove a nail, but then um, my forearm got caught on one of the nails sticking out. I don't know if you can see like here, there's nails here that stick out. And uh, I got myself good, a puncture mark just in my forearm. After the floor was removed and all of our log floor joists were taken out, we were left with our dirt crawl space. And that had to be dug down into our new basement. Now, we weren't about to try to do that by hand. That would have been crazy. So we brought in our friend Murray with his excavator and he dug it out. That's right, we squeezed him in the back door and we had conveyor belts taking the dirt out to the driveway. It was a pretty cool setup, a lot of work, but it really turned out okay. Yeah, I thought we had a great system and it was amazing just to watch it all happen and especially Murray working that excavator, man. He was a pro, super precise. It's like shaped like a heart too. I don't know sure if that's like on purpose or what. Oh. Yeah, pretty neat, eh? Cool. Once the hole was dug, it was time for our forms and pouring our footings. But we were constantly having to drain out the water before we pour the concrete. It was kind of like fighting Mother Nature because the snow was melting. It was spring, so a lot of water was coming in. 
But then, the cool part was the Stone Slinger. Getting the gravel inside was so awesome. Oh yeah, you loved watching that. Everybody should love watching this. Take a look at this thing. It, it was amazing. The next step was then getting our first half of the blocking done, parging, water membrane, insulation, weeping tile. And then more gravel on top of that. say we i mean polar masonry actually hey -o. they're uh, they're blocking our foundation right now we've had to dig a hole and we've had to put in footings again when i say we i wasn't really doing any of these things i was just present for it uh dig uh, putting the footings putting gravel putting weepers and now they're blocking the wall and we're putting on our insulation we're tarring and everything and it's really coming together. Like we have a basement coming together right now. Okay, next step is we gotta mix up some mortar for the blocks, which luckily I have tons of experience doing now because we have done it for the foundation. But uh, there's the water going in. What are we gonna mix? Where's the actual sand and stuff? The sand is right here. The sand is right there. Okay. And the bags of mixer over there. And this right here is the giant mixer. Way oh, that's mixer. a way bigger mixer than the one we were using. Oh, way bigger. <laughs> Okay, this will go quick. What you working on? Tarring. Tarring? Yeah. You're doing a great job. And you have not got hardly any on you, which is impressive. Yeah. Seeing as how she's done all of this, all of this, and only got just a little bit on her gloves. Pretty impressive. Oh, and up there. Like you're over halfway now. So there you have it. Our basement is coming together. That's right, the next video, we're actually gonna be pouring concrete. We're gonna have a concrete floor in there. Oh, I can't wait to have a dance party on it. You can have dance parties all you want, but you gotta help put the floor in first. You know I'm good for that. I know, okay. Anyways, we'll see you next time. Bye.